incredibly exciting. After years, we finally have Nordschleife in Assetto Corsa. We couldn't have it in the past because only last year SRO inserted the N24 into their roster, so Kunos could never do this without being part of the license. And within record time, we have what is probably the de definitive version of uh, Nordschleife, Nordschleife that we have at the moment, to a point that even Misha Shadarin is saying that this is the most accurate version that he has ever seen in sim racing. And there's a bit of bittersweet on this DLC. This is likely one of the last DLCs we're going to see in Assetto Corsa Competizione, because if you see the QR around and if you put your QR around, they'll be saying, you know, Assetto Corsa Evo is coming this summer. So it is unlikely for me that they're going to support two games at the same time. And if this is the last one, the last DLC, it's a complete great send-off that we have for Assetto Corsa Competizione. And what a DLC. This DLC is $9.99. For Nordschleife, it is nothing. You don't need to buy anything else. Um, because Nürburgring was already part of uh, the license at the beginning. It was one of the first tracks launched, maybe the first or the second. So 999 will get this. And the update 110, which is the one we have at the moment, uh, doesn't bring many news besides Nordschleife, but of course, Nordschleife comes on a DLC. It only has some liveries for Alpine Esports. Not that anybody cares, I think. And it gives a update on the damper uh, simulation, something that is really needed because dampers in Santo Corsa Competition or su suspensions in general have been, you know, issues. Have been an issue. They've been, been correcting it then since 1.7 more actively. And on this 1.10 version, it seems that most of it... I'm not going to say corrected, but it's it's definitely easier to control. You can go over, over these curbs, and when it, they drop, instead of the car flying, like, a, to a completely different direction, it feels that the suspension works more as if it should. Of course, if you really hit it hard, the car can still fly, as we have seen in, in real life. Not going to say this is perfect, but it, it's definitely much better than it was before. And it was needed because now we're going to turn left into Norch life. It's something magical always turning these corners. No matter what the sim it is, when you turn, it just changes from racing into survival mode. And every time I drive here, I've been driving this for years. And, and Sims, I've been here a, a few times in real life. And honestly, it's fantastic. Besides, you know, the existential dread you get because you're too slow and there's some sort of guy on a BMW E36 just ripping through it and you're scared because you don't drive here that often compared to those guys, of course. And this version of a Norch Life, like Mr. Chatterin says, it's likely the best out there. I believe it. Because I've been checking out onboards from Nurburgring 2023, sorry, North Life 2023 or the N24 from 2023. And the onboards are uncanny, even on the position of the portable toilets, which is kind of funny. It's not a detail that you would expect, but there are some portable toilets in the middle of, uh, of the track that you'll see around. And those portable toilets are generally in a rough place that normally they have. In terms of uh, curbs, the curbs, you know, can go over them. They are not very tall, like in real life. Some of them are really tall, and if you try to go over it, of course, it will crash. You will crash. The tarmac, you know, all, all the depression seems to be more or less in line. We have to remember that it is incredibly hard for no matter what sim it is to make this 100%. You just make it close enough as you can get. And Kunos always does an excellent job. I think Kunos is the best company out there doing tracks. Close. In some places, maybe Polyphony Digital does it as well. But in, in some areas, it just feels lifeless. And Kunos, especially in Assetto Corsa Competizione, they are really able to bring 
not only the fidelity but also the vibe and this track is all about the vibe because we have the vibe from the m24 as you can see there's like people all around and if you go change this to nighttime it's a pure rave around here it's all the germans are partying and you know everybody else from from the area in other countries you see the the lights parties everything is like lighting up on the sides of course the track the track itself is pitch dark in some areas but where where people are in these areas you'll see the the lasers the lights and all, all those wonderful things as we go into the forest now this part probably is the the part that is closest to what was the old Assetto Corsa Competizione, uh, sorry, old Assetto Corsa part? It's likely that um, they picked up some of the old track. They didn't, I don't think they did it from the ground up. I think they, they used what they could use, updated what they could update. And in some areas, it kind of seems, oh, there's the portable toilet over there. Um, in, in some areas it seems like uh, oh I remember this tree from a set of course so like the exact model the only thing I can really complain about this is that sometimes the the brushes they use for the trees are a little bit too samey but I think there's still a lot of variety out here and the track looks like you're in the middle of a German forest and it's not like uh, in Forza for example that it kind of seems like you were middle of a jungle, not in the middle of the forest. So it it feels appropriate. The carousel is incredibly bumpy. It's bumpier than in most sims that I've been trying. Now for my favorite area of the track. You can go over these curbs, no problem. If you had, if you've done this on previous versions of Assetto Corsa, <laughs> your car would be flying there. Probably not since 1.9, but. Definitely, it is more manageable. Even on stock setups, it's definitely more manageable. Oh, this, this wasn't a really good overtake. Now, as we are driving against the AI, I must say that the AI it continues to be a set of course uh, competition AI. It is whatever. It's one of the weakest parts of this game is definitely AI. There are much better out there. Likely in iRacing. I haven't tried uh, AI in this in iRacing that much. But pretty much every single other game has better AI, AI than this. It does its job. That's basically it. Even on the drops, when the car drops, you'd be, of course, scared of the, the rebounds. The rebound is controllable. It doesn't mean that if you, you know, miss it, doesn't mean that the car won't fly. You've seen it in real life. It's just less random, it's less RNG. And essentially, that's, this is really what we need, right? We need less RNG, we need more, more stability. Something that makes a little more sense, and I think the point in physics where this game is at a moment it's the best it's, it, it has ever been not sure if everybody will like me saying that but it it's it is my opinion it drives incredibly well it makes sense even where i crashed there so as i am finishing the lap Bit of, it's a bittersweet for me because I'm pretty sure this is going to be the, la the last DLC, if not one of the last DLC out there. I'm not sure how long this game will have support. But if this is the send-off we receive from a set of Corsa uh, Competizione, this is likely the last two or three more years until we have uh, a more stable game in a set of Corsa Evo. It comes, comes out properly. We have an excellent roster. Sad we don't have the, the roster that we always want, especially from American or Asian tracks. But licensing is licensing, and it is what it is. The game now is incredibly recommendable. I love to drive this game, and I think it's never been better. Thank you so much for giving us this.
absolutely wonderful that we got Nurburgring 24 in a set of Corsa Competizione. But let us know below your opinions of the track, the DLC, the price, and what you think it's going to happen to a set of Corsa Competizione coming in the future. Also, check out uh, this video on this side. I have a new gaming channel. Go check it out. I think you're going to like it.